This is Richard Taylor for Final Cut Pro TV. As of Final Cut Pro 10.2, color corrections are now in effect. To apply a color correction, place your playhead over a clip in the timeline and hit Command 6 to bring up the color board for that clip. In order to apply the color correction to the clip, you have to make a modification to the color board. You can't close the color board by reusing the Command 6 shortcut. Go to the top of the inspector and hit the back arrow and you will return to the main inspector window. If you want to use a keyboard shortcut to return to the inspector, hit Option Command 4 to go back to the inspector. You can also add a color correction from the effect browser by dragging it to a clip in the timeline or selecting a clip in the timeline and double clicking the color correction effect in the browser. There are times when you might want to apply multiple color corrections to the same clip or even to multiple clips. There is no keyboard shortcut to add a second color correction effect. You can do that in the color correction inspector drop down menu. Choose add correction. The second color correction has been added. Or by dragging multiple color corrections from the effects browser to the clip. But adding color correction effects one at a time gets pretty tedious, especially if you do it frequently. Let's see how we can remedy that. Place multiple color correction effects to a clip in the timeline. Place the playhead over this clip and go to the video tab of the inspector. At the bottom choose Save Effects Preset. I have an effects preset category named Favorites with a space at the beginning of the name, so this Favorite category will sort to the top of the list in the Effects Browser. I'm going to call this color correction effect CC3 to signify there's three color corrections in this effect preset. Click Save. Now when you want to apply multiple color corrections to a clip, you can drag this effect to it in the timeline. Notice there are three color corrections applied to this clip. One thing to note, there are three color corrections on the clip and they are all turned on. If you'd like to apply multiple color corrections to a clip and only have the first one turned on and the other two unchecked, you can make a new effect preset. Apply the three color correction effect to a clip in the timeline. In the inspector, uncheck the second and third instance of the color correction effect. At the bottom of the inspector, choose Save Effect Preset. I've named this effect CC3 with two off. Notice it appears immediately in the effect browser. Apply this effect to a clip. Go to the inspector and notice only the first color correction is turned on. The other two are unchecked. You can delete color correction effects from a group of clips all at one time. Select the clips in the timeline, go to the inspector, and delete the color corrections. Any selected clip will have the color correction deleted. The real benefit of saving effects preset with multiple color corrections is that you can apply it to a group of clips. Select the clips in the timeline and double click this effect preset in the effect browser. All of your selected clips now have multiple instances of the color correction applied. There you have it, applying multiple color corrections to a clip or a group of clips. This is Richard Taylor. Thanks for watching.